Hello YouTube, this is Sean from the Pompey Games Room and today we're going to be doing something completely different but still retro in that it's uh, just over five years old now this game and we're going to look back at one of my favourite all time simulation games on the PC and this is Eastside Hockey Manager. Now um, Eastside Hockey Manager is basically the same sort of game as uh, say like a football manager or a premier manager game uh, back in the day. These versions of the game were actually developed by Sports Interactive who obviously make the football manager games. So a few things before we get started here, we're actually starting off on the second instalment of this game. There was a game before this just called um, Eastside Hockey Manager. Uh, we're playing 2007 here. This one was bought out in 2006 and I believe it was download only. Um, I actually bought this copy of the game. Um, it was uh, downloaded straight from the Sports Interactive store when it came out. I'm a huge ice hockey fan, being an Ottawa Senators fan. So uh, this was right up my street when this came out and uh, I got heavily into this. Um, well, I seem to get heavily into this usually in the off season from hockey when you're sort of getting withdrawal symptoms. But um, anyway, yeah, um, it's a fantastic game. It's addictive as hell, exactly the same as the Football Manager games. But um, if you're an ice hockey fan or roll hockey player or even an ice hockey player, um, definitely check this game out, guys. It is so detailed. Um, like I said, if you're a fan of the Football Manager games, you're going to know exactly what I mean by so detailed. There is literally every league, every professional league from around the world on this game, and it's absolutely awesome. I cannot recommend it enough. So in the recording of the screen for this um, review, this is my actual laptop, this is me actually playing the game. I'm using BSR Screen Recorder 6, which is actually a free software uh, download from the internet. Um, it allows you to record the screen, uh, audio, everything. It's a great little program. I'll actually put a link to it down the bottom. Uh, you can see the little um, sort of watermark, kite mark down the bottom left with the uh, basically the rip off of the Windows screen. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, anyway, um, it's a really really decent little screen recorder. And if you guys play a lot of PC games and you fancy uploading like Football Manager things and stuff like that, this is an ideal little thing to actually get a hold of. So um, anyway, let's get into the game then. Like I said, there was a game before this uh, that was out that was Eastside Hockey Manager. Uh, that was out in sort of 2005 and although it was a great game it was incredibly buggy and um, you could download that straight from Sports Interactive or you could actually buy a hard copy in the stores. Now um, this game, I actually bought it in the stores um, 2005, the first one. Um, I actually bought it, I saw it when I was out in Basingstoke one day and I was absolutely amazed that there was a, a hockey management game. I've never seen anything like this before so I grabbed it then. Um, there was updates out in the way of like uh, players and uh, obviously uh, 2005 the uh, NHL which is the main sort of American Canadian ice hockey league had a uh, lockout of a whole season around about the time of this uh, 2005 game coming out so there was a lot of rule changes implemented and uh, a few patches came out and um, they updated the game adding salary caps and um, new players like uh, obviously Sidney Crosby and Alexander Ovechkin huge players in the NHL nowadays and um, yeah, so they added all these players and they fixed some bugs with the drafting systems. Um, but no, absolutely awesome game and uh, very, very detailed as I've already said. But anyway, we're playing 2007 today, so let's uh, actually boot up the screen and we'll take a look at it. And I'll talk you through all the selections on screen and sort of how to play it. And we'll also look at one of my saved games. Um, I'm in 2015 on that game, I've been playing it probably over about three years. And uh, yeah, I've done really well. I've won the uh, main trophy, the Stanley Cup every season. Um, over two different sides, even coached Great Britain, not very well. Um, they're not the best team on this game, obviously. Uh, um, you know, ice hockey players were <laughs> not exactly up there with the world elite at, uh, ice hockey. So um, I did pretty well. I won two games in 17. Not too bad at all. So now, obviously, we're loading up here. Sports Interactive logo. Very, very um, popular game series. Um, football manager. Uh, those guys, uh, Sports Interactive, produced that along with uh, Sega. And um, yeah, I mean, absolutely fantastic company. They really, really nail these management games with the detail they go into. So here's the actual entrance screen. Uh, very similar again to a football manager a fan. You're probably going to recognise most of these settings. So starting from the left then, along the uh, central control ribbon, um, under the east side hockey manager logo, we have new game, which is obviously where you'll go to start a new game. Um, you can have as many players as you want on this game. You just simply add new managers. Load last game and load game, pretty self-explanatory. Load game, obviously, for a previous save game. And if you play the same game a lot, simply just click load last game. It's a pretty good chance that the load last game will be your main game, obviously. Delete game. Well, as soon as you click that, it will come out of a list of all your save game. Um, you've got start network game and load network game. Again, very similar to the load and new game tabs. Um, you can actually join and play friends. Uh, obviously, if you're not at the same house or in the same area, you can play your friends. Um, 
a join network game. Obviously, that's pretty uh, popular on the Football Manager games nowadays as well. So, down in the bottom right-hand corner, we've got Quit and Preferences. Now, Preferences, you can set the game for sort of pounds and dollars and things like that and sounds and everything. Um, we've got Credits and Check for Updates. Um, as far as I'm aware, there are a few updates that are out for this game, so it's definitely worth checking that out if you've uh, if you've actually got this game and you're a big fan of it. And the EHM Community, that's East Side Hockey Manager, uh, community, basically like the football manager community. Okay then, so we've uh, set up the leagues now, we've switched on the leagues that we want to set as playable. Um, so here we go now, uh, this is the actual teams that are on the NHL for um, this year. Basically you can um, obviously input your name and stuff at the top, it's um, basically just setting up your manager profile, you can select sort of what sort of standard hockey you played. Um, Obviously, also put your name in, and then comes the fun part. It's uh, selecting what team you want to be. Now, each team has a little profile. When you click on, say, like the top team here, um, when you click on that, you'll get a little profile that comes up, and it gives you all the information about the teams. Um, it'll tell you where they play, sort of how rich they are, um, and basically things like that. Nicknames, facilities, if they've got good training facilities, and everything like that. So again, much in the same way, and another thing that was borrowed from the Football Manager series. So let's actually select a side now and let's start off with the Ottawa Senators. So um, after you confirm you'll come to the actual management screen which will then tell you who you're controlling. Okay, the first thing it will ask you to do when you start is to actually save the game. You'll get a prompt to come up straight away and this is your home page. Basically you've got everything down the side here. It tells you everything you want to do. It's pretty self-explanatory. You've got a little player screen at the top right hand side there. So now let's click on a player, um, much in the same way that you would find on the Football Management games. This is Wade Redden, um, now plays with the Rangers, doesn't play with the Senators anymore. Actually doesn't even play with the Rangers anymore, he's, um, he's had a bit of a turn for the worse in form. Um, but uh, he's very good on this game and he's one of the Senators' main guys on this game. So you've got a little bio and everything, you can check out his stats, you can check out his contract. Um, you can also set the money from pounds to dollars in this as well, so you can you can sort of change the game statics like that. Right, well let's take a quick look at this screen. This is the general manager options. Here you can turn on everything you want to do. So you can actually like go on holiday in effect um, or go on vacation as they call it. Um, you can coach the game yourself. So you can just manage the side if you want. Um, you can actually uh, head coach the Rangers pre-season friendlies and things like that. Um, basically you can have minimal involvement here if you wanted to by switching things on and off. And also just go on holiday for a year if you wanted to and see how your team does. Okay, well while we're waiting for this game to come back off of vacation mode, uh, here we go, we're off vacation, let's go to general manager and actually look at the Senators roster. So this is all the players that were on the Senators lineup from about this time. You can change this page from everything, sort of contracts, stats, you can you know sort everything to see who's on the most money, who scored the most goals, who's had the most assists, you can divide things as well for goaltenders and defenders and forwards, you can divide everything up so it's very very easy to navigate and also select your team. Um, Everything on here is shown from their wages, as I've just said. So we'll look at some players here from the Senators roster, and you can sort of see their stats and their makeups. Uh, the makers of this game actually had all the licenses for all the teams and all the players worldwide. So it's much more like, say, like a FIFA game in that way, in that they've got all of the actual um, sort of name licensing rights and things. So very, very detailed game. So now we're checking out some of the other things. Here's the fixtures. Um, obviously all the teams are shown as badges when you're playing them on the day. Um, you've got everything here from your staff, so as you can see we're right at the top, you've got some coaches here. Um, it actually gives you a reputation if they're world class or unknown. Um, it's very clearly laid out. So We're now on to team finances. On this game there was actually a salary cap involved. Um, the salary cap at the bottom, um, it would the salary cap for this game I think was 23 million. Nope, sorry, it says right there, 23.5 million. Um, so you can then sort of buy players and add players to your roster up to the value of 23.5 million uh, salary wise. So now here, this is where you would actually set up your team, your tactics. Um, again, same way as Football Manager, you have to be pretty detailed on this if you want to get a good um, amount of uh, points scored in a season. Um, 
it's uh it's something you usually needed to change up as well because teams would get quite um they would catch on to what you were doing in the season and they would usually sort of uh, match themselves up against you and it would be very very difficult say like after about 20 games to actually keep using the same tactics so um basically you would just drag and drop players from the left hand side there into the positions so um here we go now we're looking at the training um basically you just switch on and off the players on along the left hand side as to which schedule they want um it come up with a little drop down menu and you can put them on different routines you can also sort this out with different coaches and abilities so here's the NHL now we're looking at this is the Eastern Conference let's look at the Western so all the teams are there like I said it's all official names or we can look at it overall where all 30 teams are there um, rather than being divided up into their 15 to a conference you can sort a lot of things so you can say like look at uh, who's been winning the most after the first period second period and things um, we've got lots more selection of things down here we've got um you know so many things you can look at everything in that part there you can look at who scored the most goals in the league and other stats and things like that so um also pretty detailed in regards to the history of each team you can click on the um tabs down the side of your general manager options and you can check out the history of all your teams basically all the team sorry um it will have player stats there who scored the most goals through each season and things like that so anyway so let's uh, now take a look at the players on the game let's go and try and buy some players um, let's look for some free agents uh, basically means uh, players contracts who have expired so let's turn on UFA and RFA there restricted and unrestricted free agents and let's sort let's go for a defenseman I think let's try and get someone here um, so Brian Lich yeah, Brian Leach. He's a bit old. Left the Rangers in this season, but he's an absolute legend of the Rangers. Let's try and get him. So we select what classification we want him to have. And there we go. That's his demands that he wants. I don't think I'm going to be able to get anywhere near that. But let's have a go. Let's just put in a, let's put in a cheeky offer. What the hell. So you could obviously select on here and you could actually select what you wanted to pay them. Um, these would be per season. It wouldn't be a weekly wage. So <laughs> don't start thinking that hockey players get paid a million pound a month. Um, we can't select any of those because of his age. Two-way contracts, uh, basically a two-way contract is you can send them to the minors and things like that. And the no trade clause is pretty self-explanatory. No trade. So uh, let's keep playing and try and get to a selection screen where we can actually see Brian Letch hopefully accept my terms. Um, and also let's see if we can actually get a trade going as well so I can actually show you guys that. It's, um, it's a pretty friendly interface this game. It's um, I would say it's probably up there with uh, one of the most addictive games I've ever played management-wise. And let's click on some news. So, um, going for it. Pretty self explanatory stuff, really. It's just sort of telling you bits and bobs that, uh, yeah, people are available, people who have been let go, people who have put in offers for people, and, you know, teams that are putting offers for certain players. So, let's keep skipping. Um, I just want to sort of show you an acceptance of a contract or possibly just a player signing or something. Um, okay, so there's some news at the screen now. Let's go back to it. Nothing there. So let's keep going. So it will keep coming up. You can basically select who you want to come up on here. So European Hockey Tour there. Um, you can actually opt out of some of these um, stats being updated on your news page if you wanted to. Um, basically you can just go onto management options and you can turn off, basically put on a news filter and see who you want, uh, what you want to receive news from and also you know, leagues and you can subscribe to certain things and get updates on say the English League and things like that. So anyway, um, let's keep going here. Right, we're in luck. Uh, a player has just become available who I usually buy on this game, John Madden. Pretty good player, closes things down. So let's put an inquiry for him as he's just been made available by the New Jersey Devils. So there we go, New Jersey want a draft pick in exchange. So let's actually uh, look at that. That's fine. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So now, as it's mid season, there you go, straight away they should accept it and it can take place. So let's confirm that. And we now have John Madden, who is a pretty good player on this game. If you're playing this game, definitely check out John Madden. Great stats there. And he'll do a job for you on the um, everything. Penalty kill, power play, even strength. He'll do absolutely everything for you. Now, first thing, when you buy someone, you actually have to set their status. So we're going to set him as obviously a very important team member. And he's untouchable. That basically means that when the team comes in trying to trade for him, they're not going to be able to sort of get to the negotiation table with it. 
Right guys, I was telling you earlier about how detailed this game is. Well, uh, let's have a closer look at that now. Um, you've got everything here from waivers, which is basically where teams in the NHL can place them on a certain uh, free agents list, basically, and teams can take them off their hands. You've got lots of different leagues here, so um, you just saw sort of European and World Cup and everything. Uh, we've got Great Britain there. <laughs> <laughs> just looking at that, we'll look at some of the mighty teams in the Great Britain League in a minute. Um, let's go over there now. So you've got the Elite League. Oh, just slipped off there. Um, that's the mo the best known league, I'd say, probably the Elite League at the moment. So let's click on that. So there we go. There's some Elite League teams. They're all registered. We've all got the badges when you click on them as well. So we'll, we'll click on one now and take a look. Let's talk um, Basingstoke Boys, and that's probably one of my most local teams. You've got all the players there. Go back to a few more. Coventry Blaze. So all these would have you know proper players, they're not made up, they're actual players from the team around this time. So if you're into your English Elite League, I've actually played in the Elite League management style and it's very, very good. And uh, it's a bit difficult to get noticed though in the NHL, so um, I usually just start off in the AHL if I want to um, a good challenge and then hopefully get picked up by one of these larger squads. So um, anyway, let's carry on with the game now guys. So now we're on the search screen, let's take a look for some actual superstars in this game. We've got Alexander Ovechkin. Um, Self-explanatory really was drafted around this area um, of the game's release. It was drafted. Uh, he was drafted as first overall, absolute superstar. Not playing as well as I speak at the moment in a 2012. Just in the playoffs, um, he's not doing too well. Let's look at Sidney Crosby. Just been eliminated from the playoffs this year with Pittsburgh. Um, absolute superstar. Just come back from a concussion in real life. Um, who else should we put in? One of my favourite players. Let's put in one of my favourite players of all time. Marion Hossa. Um, used to play for the Ottawa Senators. Absolute superstar for them. Uh, but we had to trade him um, due to contract problems. Um, absolutely brilliant player on this game as well. Will score you a hat full of goals and also assist on things. So um, yeah, he plays for the Atlanta Thrashers, which are now actually the Winnipeg Jets. In the NHL, they no longer exist. Okay then guys, now let's take a look at, um, as I said at the beginning, let's take a look at my save game that I've been playing now on and off for a few years since I picked this game up. Um, so I'm the Ottawa Senators on this, I originally started off at the New York Rangers. Um, I've won the Stanley Cup every year at the team, two teams I've managed. I've even managed Team GB, which was, uh, yeah, less said about that the better. Um, <laughs> it was very, very difficult. So this is my squad, uh, Andrew Ladd, absolutely brilliant pick up. I was really happy to pick him up um, in this game. He's absolutely brilliant and I tried to get hold of him. Um, quite a long time at the Rangers, but uh, I can do that. He, um, yeah, he's, he demands a very, very high trade price at the beginning, but I managed to get him at a very, very sensible uh, price later on in the game. So you've got a little scouting report here, which it will give you an individual assessment of each of your players. Um, so your scouts on this game, depending on how good they are, they give you more detailed reports on where to play and what he's got the potential to turn out like. Um, and uh, yeah, it's very detailed. It's very, very handy if you, um, if you can. Uh, you know, judge these stats really, um, and you can place them on the appropriate line um, because you, it does actually help you out with sort of decent results. Um, you know, these scout files are pretty handy on this game; and they're very, very detailed. So, definitely check those out if you're on this game, guys. It will really, really help you out down the line. So, this is the standings after just a few games really in the NHL. I'm not doing too well, not doing too bad this season. I'm notoriously known in this game for bad starts to the season. Um, we've got some stats here, so some of my players, Rick Nash there, is uh, top of the goals at the moment. We've got assists, we've got goalkeeping stats as well on here, we've got absolutely everything. Um, all the uh, stats are, uh, are numbered here, and it's also good for you guys to be able to see the game in its early stages of the season. So, um, so let's look around again. Let's go to general manager stats. Well, there I am, uh, with the Senators, I'm right at the top there, and third, and I'm actually top of the European coaching categories. Um, you can search and do different things. So this is all my history. It's basically tracked where I've been. So uh, there's my Team GB appointment and things like that. <laughs> uh, these are my awards I've won. So uh, I've won a fair few things already. Um, scored a lot of goals, <laughs> as you can see there. Um, and it will tell you sort of what languages you know and things like that. So yeah, I've not done too bad. My general manager resume is not too bad at the moment. And uh, yeah, it's, it, I've worked on this now for a few years, I've been playing this game on and off, and it's one of those games that you can definitely come back to, you don't have to sort of play it in one sitting. Um, it's a very, very addictive game, as I keep saying, and uh, I tend to get hooked on this around the uh, NHL draft, um, which is probably coming up in about a month and a half to two months now, so I'll probably be coming back to this game for a few months, at least within the next uh, two months, let's say, and I'll be playing this a stack load more. So um, we're still on the history here. Let's uh, let's now move on from here and go see what else we can uh, we can look at. 
Right, so here's some of the actual history records now. They've been updated um, ever since I've been playing the game. So a lot of the players that I've signed are actually on these records now. They're sort of club legends. Um, obviously, most goals scored in the game, biggest win there and, and things like that. So uh, this is one of my gems at the moment. I drafted this guy. I can't even pronounce his second name, so I'm not even going to try it. Um, but he's an absolute stay-at-home defenseman. Uh, likes to rough things up. Very, very good player. Um, we've got another few things here. We've got some... Um, uh, let's have a look. Most games played... Um, we've got some good stats here actually, just looking at this, I mean, most goals scored in a season, that's pretty insane. Um, games won in a row, most goals scored in a game, that's like I said, you know, there's every stat on here you could ever wish to see. Um, there's so many uh, so many stats, I mean, we've got player of the year there at the top, Jason Spezza, highest scoring game, 14-2, unbelievable. Um, that was a good game, very, very good game, and a lot of players on there that scored. Um, so obviously uh, when you click on these reports uh, you can actually generate live things like shot feeds and stuff like that you can see how many shots you had uh, per period and whereabouts they were on the goal uh, the green uh, shots are indicators uh, for goals on this here the red ones are shots that were saved um, down the bottom there obviously we absolutely pummeled uh, the Florida Panthers in this game <laughs> absolutely pummeled them that's what I said if you get the if you get the roster right if you get your game roster right you're going to absolutely trounce certain teams on this game Right, so I've got an injury to my squad, so we're going to have to look now to replace this guy. Let's uh, click down to defenseman, um, then we'll have to put on, um, I think it is a defenseman, a left-sided defenseman that's injured. So um, let's have a look, defenseman, there's my injured player. Not a bad player that guy, so um, I'm going to have to look where he plays. So we can see there, he's playing as a left defenseman, so we're going to have to take him out of the lineup. So there's his stats. He's got pretty decent stats there for a defenseman. The where the mouse is pointing, you've got poke checking and positioning. You've also got determination and work rate. They're very, very important stats for a defenseman. So we want to go and look for someone with high stats in those categories. There's nobody else really there. So uh, let's actually turn on the other players as well. He'll do. Ryan Perant is a guy that I actually signed this season on the game. So he's got decent stats. I wouldn't say he's as good, but. Uh, Let's pop him in. Um, he shouldn't have a problem, I would say, playing because he's going to be playing with a good player as well on the right hand side, so he should be okay. So, just make sure there's no one in the reserves. The, the highlighted players, the red players, and also the uh, purple players down the bottom, that's players that you've got in the system. So, you've got players that are on loan at lower league sides. You've also got the purple rated player, which is a young player. He'll be playing in the youth leagues. So, let's pick him. He's not designated to line. Let's pop him on the line that has been left, uh, the gaps that have been left by the defence one just took out. Um, in fact, let's put on the defender who's second on the top lines. Let's pop him there. Okay, that should be okay. Um, I don't think I'm going to change any of these. Yeah, let's leave the captains. That's fine. So here we can see the individual lines. They're explained there by stars, how good they are, how well they're going to do and stuff. You can sort of make out by there. Uh, you can also change their, how they play each line. So if you've got say, a grinding, a checking line full of players that are very, very sort of good at going around smashing people in the face and sort of uh, getting in opponents' faces, you can actually tell them to do that at that screen. Pretty handy. Um, I think, if I'm honest, I'm just going to stick with uh, how it is at the moment. I'm pretty happy with how my team's playing this season. So let's just uh, look at a few of the stats here. That seems to be working out. Yep, shot-wise, shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so we start the game now. So you can do a few things. You can even just play the game straight off, in which case I've just played the first period there. So it's one all. You can then go down to the stat screen and see how you're doing. And if you think you can face it again, um, sort of just by simulating the period, or you can switch to the um, stats where you can actually watch the game. Um, so you can watch the putt going around the, uh, the actual um, arena and you can see how it does. Um, or one of my favourite things I tend to do is during the playoffs is actually turn on the highlights and watch the whole game sort of key thing. Um, it's pretty quick and it's it's pretty addictive to watch actually. It's very very good. So here we go. We've actually got the ice uh, up here and the, the clock is ticking away at the top. Um, Any time some sort of activity happens, it will flick to show you the activity on the screen and who's doing it. The changes as well. You'll see from the benches at the top there. Um, you'll see the players come on. So sometimes uh, in this game it can be very, very frustrating. Uh, as you can see here, it moves very, very fast. 
Um, it's easy to actually see where the puck is and things and sort of players that are on the ice and you know as long as you know the sort of numbers that you've given your players it's very very easy to track them on the ice and this is actually pretty handy because you've also got like, the shot count below and how your team's doing and things so if you need to make any changes during the game it would be very very easy to do so. So um, anyway guys, um, I think this video has probably gone on long enough but it's, it's probably allowed you to have a good look at this game and see what you think. Um, if you're an NHL fan or a management sim game fan, you're going to absolutely love this game. It's so detailed and um, the sort of achievements on this game are absolutely brilliant. You know, you can really feel like you've, you've achieved a lot in a management game on this. There's so many things, so many leagues to play in and um, it's just out at a good time in the NHL. You've got a lot of top players like Sidney Crosby and uh, Alexander Ovechkin and people like that who are very, very young and uh, you've sort of got them right at the beginning of their careers. So um, anyway guys, like I said, I definitely recommend this game. Make sure you look out for it. Um, I don't think you can download it anymore from the Eastside Hockey Manager site. I do believe there is a fan site designated to the game and I'll pop that down in the uh, comments. Um, you can buy this on eBay, I believe, the first edition of this game. Uh, it usually goes for no more than three pound. Um, you can buy that on eBay. You can't download it anymore, but I'm sure you can get a moody version of it. But um, that's a need to know basis, and I'm not condoning that. This is an actual copy of the game that I purchased um, from the actual site, and it's all it's all legit. I've got all my gen codes and stuff. So uh, anyway, anyway, guys, I'm babbling now. Uh, thanks for checking out this video. Also, thanks to all the new subscribers, and I'll see you all again soon with a similar video. Thanks for watching.